Google Authenticator has been a go-to for two-factor authentication, providing that extra layer of security through its simple app. But here's the thing, if you lose your phone, what's next? Google thought about this problem recently and implemented a new backup feature that stores your data so that you can restore the account to another device. However, there's a big question looming. It's about encryption, or more specifically, the lack of end-to-end -end encryption. So is the new Google Authenticator good enough to stand against top contenders in the security world? Hey there, from Safety Detectives, let me show you what I found. First of all, let's get hands-on. When you update Google Authenticator, you'll notice a new option to back up your codes to your Google Cloud. It's pretty simple and just a tap away. Now, God forbid, if you ever lose your phone or switch to a new one, restoring your two-factor authentication codes will be seamless. Super convenient, right? But here's where we hit our first snag. The backup is not end-to-end -end encrypted. This means while Google secures your codes, they're accessible within Google's infrastructure. For the everyday user, this might not be a deal breaker. However, if you're someone concerned about privacy, it could be an extremely valid concern. So what does all of this mean for you? Essentially, if you use Google Authenticator, you have two choices. First, you're someone who values convenience and trusts Google's robust security measures. This backup feature is a game changer then in that case. No more manual transfers or fear of losing access to any of your accounts. But what if you prefer to keep things strictly local and you're not a big fan of big tech having potential access to your data? Well, the good news is Google Authenticator can still work for you in that case as well. Just bypass cloud backup altogether and keep your two-factor authentication codes offline. This setting found in the account options lets you use Authenticator in the traditional way, where codes remain on your device only, ensuring that they're kept out of the cloud and under your control. But are there better alternatives? If you're out for a solution that couples convenience with heightened security, you might want to consider an integrated password manager and two-factor authentication app like 1Password. 1Password provides a secure vault for your two-factor authentication codes, which solves the big problem with Google Authenticator because it does feature end-to-end -end encryption. It's also just more convenient. Unlike Google Authenticator, 1Password stores passwords and two-factor authentication codes in one encrypted location. If you log into a site, 1Password autofills both your password and the two-factor authentication code, streamlining the process while enhancing your security as well. Choosing the right two-factor authentication method depends on what you value most, streamlined integration or comprehensive security. On the other hand, Google Authenticator offers the convenience of being directly tied to your Google accounts, making it a seamless part of the entire Google ecosystem. On the other hand, 1Password provides an all-in-one solution, securing not just your two-factor authentication codes, but also your passwords, documents, and other sensitive data, all with the benefit of end-to-end -end encryption. If you want to learn more about 1Password, definitely check that out by clicking up here or using the link down in the description below where you'll find our full review on 1Password. So how do Google Authenticator and 1Password stack up against each other? Both are very user-friendly and simple to use, so that shouldn't be a concern. Where and how you prefer to manage your digital security is what sets both apps apart. Whether you lean towards the integrated experience of Google Authenticator or the encrypted security vault of 1Password will determine the best choice for your own case. Just keep in mind that if you decide to back up your codes online, there's a significant difference between both apps. Still, regardless of which app you decide to use, the key is that you're taking a significant step towards protecting your online identity with two-factor authentication. All right, let's wrap up this exploration. Is the new Google Authenticator app good enough? For those who appreciate the convenience of Google's ecosystem, the new backup feature is a significant improvement, making it easier than ever to manage your two-factor authentication codes. However, it is an important note that these backups are not end-to-end -end encrypted, which might be a concern for privacy-focused users. For those looking for an alternative, 1Password offers a robust security solution with the added benefit of end-to-end -end encryption, ensuring that your credentials are manageable and secure. Ultimately, the choice between Google Authenticator and alternatives like 1Password will depend on your specific needs for convenience, security, and privacy. Remember, using two-factor authentication in any form is better than just a password, no matter how complex. So whether you stick with Google Authenticator or opt for another solution, you're definitely moving in the right direction. 
If you found this comparison to be helpful, please leave a like on this video, share your thoughts down in the comments section, and subscribe for more insights into tech and security in future content. Your support helps us bring more content just like this to you. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you in the next one.